Hi, this is Zach from Fish on Fishing, and I'm here to talk to you about how to rig up your ice fishing jig rod. I'm going to show you how to line it up, and how to rig it up to catch some panfish or largemouth bass. Now, the materials you need, of course, is your ice fishing jig rod, some scissors, and some fishing line. I'm using four pound line. Seems to work very good for uh, panfish. Oops, dropped it. And of course the jig. I'm using an orca diver. They work really good for panfish and trout and bass and whatnot. First thing you do is pull off a little line from your spool. I like to use Berkeley troweling fluorocarbon because it's a very sensitive line that uh, fish can't really see. So when you're a really finicky crappie and perch, you can catch them. And trout, because we all know trout are very uh, line sensitive. Now the first thing you do is going to open your bale, pull the line around, spool and tie it on using any kind of knot. I like to use an improved clinch knot. I use that knot for pretty much everything I do with fishing. Oops. Probably going to want to tie that on a few times. Now I know this room looks like a mess. It's because I'm getting all my tackle ready for the spring season. Unfortunately, this line doesn't tie very easily. It's so lightweight. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to flip the bail. Oop, my pickerel rig is uh, caught on the rod. <laughs> Alright, now just next what you're going to do, just make sure the lines on your eyes right, is just start reeling. Oh, I messed that up. Starting to mess everything up. that I didn't pay attention to. I haven't lined up a reel in a long time. Why, uh, not so good at it right now. Wow. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, jeez. This is how not to do it right here. <laughs> Jeez. So clumsy today. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, geez. That is a tangle. If I've ever seen one. I'm going to have to retie this again. 
spin when he's a good enough mount. Actually, never fish with this light of line. You can believe that. I've always been a eight pound and up guy with fishing line. Now you just want to reel. Hold your line. Hold your hand on the on the line so that no tangles can happen. Which I didn't do before, which was my mistake. And just keep reeling. Whoop. Got a bit of a tangle. Of course. Oh my god. I'm trying to figure out what happened, but. Alright, fixed it. I just keep real. Just want to keep reeling until you fill your spool, which I almost have. I'm not a very deep fisherman. Deepest I'll fish ice fishing is 18 feet in the Connecticut River. And we finished. After you finish, just cut the line off the spool. Just take out a little line. Now, what you're going to want to do is take your jig. I'm using an orca diver. Just make sure you open it. Improve clinch knot it. Wow. Sorry, I'm so unprepared with this. It's just not extremely ready to do this. But my orca diver has a hole in the thing, so can't tie it on. Dang. I'm going to use a different jig, actually. Well, alright, I'm going to use a different jig. I'm going to put my orca diver away. And I'm going to tie on the windy flyer. This jig is for largemouth bass and pickerel. But if you get into a school trout or a crappie, I'm sure they'll eat it too. Now you're going to want to improve clinch knot this jig right onto your line. If you want, you can use a heavier leader, like a 10 pound test or a 12 pound test leader. But I'm just going to tie it right onto the main line. Like I said, I'm going to be fishing for crappie and trout that sometimes are really sensitive about the bait.
Well, after you tie the jig on, cut the tag on. And you're pretty much done. Just put some, put a night crawler or a mousy or a uh, spike or a mealworm or something on uh, that jig and go out there and catch them. Um, until next time, I'm Zach from Fish on Fishing. Good fishing to y'all. Sorry I took so long in this video. It's just, ooh, I don't know. It's not a very good day for me. Thanks, though. Bye.